Okay, in this lesson we're going to continue with creating models. Uh, this is from section 6.4 if you're in my class, and it's problem number three. What it says in your study guide is that this is the first question for your homework assignment, and if you go over this problem with Mr. Martins in class or on the YouTube video, you don't have to do this as part of your homework assignment. Again, the goal is to learn, so at some point you may want to pause this video and try it on your own because you should be able to practice this on your own at some point in time. I've highlighted some important things here. I'm going to read the entire question as a homework question and explain it as we go. What it says here is baskets of fruit are being prepared to sell. Each basket contains at least five apples and at least six oranges. So that's a constraint. There's at least five apples, at least six oranges. Here's something else. Apples cost 20 cents each, oranges are 35 cents each, and the budget allows no more than $7 in total for the fruit in each basket. So another constraint is that you cannot spend more than $7. Uh, it says, answer each part below to create a model that could be used to determine the combination of apples and oranges that will result in the maximum number of pieces of fruit in a basket. So our goal is to represent all the possible combinations of apples and oranges that can be in a fruit basket. And then we're going to try to determine the combination that will result in the maximum number of pieces of fruit in the basket. Uh, part A says, what are the two variables in this situation? Describe any restrictions. Part B says write a system of linear inequalities to represent each constraint. There's three constraints, the number of apples in each basket, the number of oranges in each basket, and the cost of each basket. Thirdly, we're going to graph the system. We'll do part B and C together. Uh, or Part C says graph the system. And part D says write the objective function that represents how the quantity to be maximized relates to the variables. So part A has sort of already been done for you. If you can see uh, what it says for part A is what are the two variables? A is going to be the number of apples, and R is going to be the number of oranges. So, <clears throat> and the second part says, describe any restrictions. Number of apples and oranges must be positive integers or whole numbers. Part B, write a system of linear inequalities to represent each constraint. So one constraint is the number of apples in each basket. What it says is that there's at least five apples. So if you'd like to represent that as a constraint, and I'm going to use these as colors, uh, that would be that apples have to be greater than or equal to 5, because there's at least 5 apples. So your boundary would be where apples are exactly 5. Now, for a reason that you'll find out in a little while, I've decided to go up by 4s, not by 1s or by 2s or anything. You'll see that when we get to the third constraint. Um, you'll, As you practice this, you'll kind of understand what... Uh, you're going to go up by and what your scale is going to be, but this is a useful one. So A being exactly 5 would be roughly, and this is where you can estimate, would be roughly here. Okay, So that's where the apples are exactly 5. Now if he has at least 5 apples in each basket, then that means there could be more. So if you use a test point or otherwise, that means that the number of apples could be more than 5. So that would be this side of that boundary line. This represents all the combinations uh, that would be more than five apples. So I'm doing part B and C together concurrently, just so you can kind of see the relationship between the two. <clears throat> okay, uh, the second constraint has to do with the number of oranges, and I'm using the letter R instead of the letter O because O looks like a zero, and I sometimes get confused if I have my letters that look like numbers. Um, so the second constraint says this, well, part B, <clears throat> it has to do with the number of oranges in each basket. And what it talks about oranges, it says there's at least six oranges. So if I wanted to represent that, that would be that oranges have to be greater than or equal to six. So your boundary would be where oranges are exactly six. And oranges are exactly six at this boundary roughly here. Okay, <clears throat> so if it says uh, there's at least six, then there are allowed to be more. So the side of that boundary line that represents more than six oranges uh, would be this side here. And what you're already noticing is that blue and yellow make green. So this green shaded region represents so far the solution given the, two, the first two constraints. These are all combinations in this green area here where there are at least five apples and at least six oranges. But there's still going to be another constraint having to do with the cost. <clears throat> All right. 
So, <clears throat> the final constraint here uh, says apples cost 20 cents each, oranges are 35 cents each. This budget allows no more than $7 in total for the fruit in each basket. I'm going to do this in cents. So, they have to spend less than or equal to 700 cents. And we know that the cost, if you read this carefully, it said it's 20 cents for each apple. So 20 cents per apple plus 35 cents per orange has to be less than or equal to $7. So your boundary here would be where the cost of apples plus the cost of oranges is exactly $7. You could either do this in your brain where give me two combinations where they're exactly seven dollars. Well, I can tell you right now, here's a combination. If apples reach 20 cents, then if I had exactly 35 apples, which is roughly here, or in other words, if I had no oranges, this is the other way of doing it, no oranges would be 20a is equal to 700. And if I divide by 20, I'm going to have 35 apples. So no oranges and 35 apples would be a boundary point. And also, if I had no apples, or in other words, if I wanted to fill my basket with just oranges, I could have 20 oranges, because 20 oranges would be equivalent to $7, or you can see that here. We would have 35R equals 700. If you divide by 35, you'll have R is equal to 20. So that's another combination. That would be exactly $7. So if you're looking for the boundary line of where it would be exactly $7, it would be the line that connects those two points. Okay, uh, So the last thing would be which side of that green boundary line uh, do I shade? <clears throat> now if it says it can be no more than $7, I think you would assume that beneath that boundary line of $7 would be no more than $7. Or you could use a test point and find out that a combination of zero apples and zero oranges is less than $7. So uh, lastly, your solution region is the green region with the slanted part overlapping it. So your solution region uh, would be this region here. What this represents <clears throat> is all the combination of apples and oranges that can be in this particular basket. <clears throat> uh, so finally, so we've graphed the system, we've done part B, we've done part C. Uh, you may want to put dots within, so integer values within that particular solution region because you can't buy uh, half oranges and half apples or anything like that. So that's kind of the idea. You just put a few dots in here because <clears throat> you can only have integers. And finally, Part D says, write the objective function that represents how the quantity to be maximized relates to the variables. So that might have, we might have to ask the question, uh, what is the quantity to be maximized? Because we need an objective function for the quantity to be maximized. The question, it says, what they're trying to do is determine the combination of apples and oranges that will result in the maximum number of pieces of fruit in a basket. So we're trying to come up with our objective function is maximum number of fruit okay so the maximum number of fruit would just simply be equal to our objective function would be just apples plus oranges that's what we're trying to maximize the number of fruit <clears throat> and one combination within here will do that <clears throat>